All right, so as we can see, this website is a WordPress site. We have our HostGator cPanel. Everything up to date. I'm not gonna move all my websites right now. I'm just gonna start with this one. And then ideally, hopefully we can cancel um, and not pay too much in the future. And then here's the cPanel. So this is just the usual list of WordPress files you've seen. And let's get started without further ado. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our dashboard and we're gonna install the SG Migrator plugin. So we're gonna to go to plugins, add new, and look for SiteGround Migrator. And there she is, install now. And what this will do is bundle up all your content on your HostGator hosting, all your WordPress content, and make it um, receivable in a file format that SiteGround can recognize so they can put all your content on SiteGround. We're gonna activate the plugin, and after we do this, we're gonna go ahead and get a new SiteGround plan. If you already have one already, that's fine, but I wanna show you how to do this from scratch. So we're gonna set up a new SiteGround plan with a discount and everything. Because I figure a lot of you guys are at that stage right now. You know, you're just getting started with this whole migration. So next step is to go to SG Migrator on your WordPress, and this is where we have to stop right now because we're gonna need a migration token, which will start the migration from HostGator to SiteGround. So, we need to go to SiteGround, let's do it. I'm gonna have you, um, if you'd like, visit gregnerion.com forward slash SiteGround, where you can get our custom discount here for our YouTube family. So that's really nice, um, if you wanna use that, you can get their lowest prices of any time of the year because I've had them agree to update this page whenever there's a new discount and then also gives me a small commission for making the video so I can keep everything free to watch and you know we don't make a ton making these tutorials but it's kind of fun I like using hosting and showing people how to do it okay so thanks so much if you decide to use this page and get a discount we're gonna go with the startup plan because it's the most affordable and because the migration we're doing today is the manual plugin migration which is free if, for whatever reason, you want to get the Grow Big plan or the Go Geek plan, then you will be allowed to get one free professional migration where SiteGround will basically do it for you. You'll give them your cPanel information, they'll just do it for you. But because we want to save a little money, we're going to get startup. That professional migration is not available for free to startup, so we have to do it this way with the plugin, and um, it's really good knowledge for you to learn how to do. So FYI, there are two types of SiteGround migrations that everyone does. The first one is a free manual plugin migration that we're doing here because we installed that SG Migrator plugin. That works every time and you can do it for your second, third, fourth, and fifth websites for free. Um, the other type of migration is if you get a Grow Big plan or a Go Geek plan, you get one free professional migration where SiteGround just logs into your cPanel um, and does it for you. So we're not going to be eligible for that because we're getting a startup plan. So we have to do the manual plugin migration, um, which is great knowledge. And like I said, it's always free. So it's going to be really great. So we're going to click get plan on startup. All right, the next step is just to click I already have a domain. And we're going to enter in the domain of the site that you are migrating from HostGator to SiteGround. So that in our case is just selfhostedwordpressblog.com. Copy that and paste that in at SiteGround. Then make sure to remove the HTTP stuff and the slash, and then click Proceed. So in this case, they don't want us to use the word WordPress, so I'm just gonna, for the sake of the example, change this to WP Blog, and then we can proceed. But in your case, you'll enter in exactly what your domain name is on your current HostGator website. All right, we're gonna say no thank you then to registering it, and that'll take us to the Review and complete page. Now all you need to do is enter in your account information. Boom, boom, boom. Client information so that you can create a new account at SiteGround. You might get this special price thing, which is great. I'm gonna close that. Pop in your payment information and try to get this all done as quick as possible so we can get on to the fun stuff, which is actually migrating successfully from HostGator to SiteGround. In purchase information, make sure that you have the right plan the right data center, you can click that and change it based on your location. So ideally, wherever you are in the world physically, you want your data center to be close to there. 
so it's also hopefully close to your audience. And then period, we're gonna go with 12 months so we can figure out SiteGround, make some money with our site, and so on. Then at the bottom, we can see we're gonna be paying this much right here, which is just 699 times 12. You might have a slightly different amount based on what you chose, but in our case, it adds up. Let me know if you have any questions about the pricing. I know it's really important to you when you get a new plan. I want you to get the best discount possible, of course. And then once you're set, just check these two boxes. Um, you don't have to check the second one if you don't want. And then we're gonna click pay now. And in the next step, we're gonna be entering our new SiteGround portal. And from there, we can actually migrate our content into SiteGround. All right, so let's do it. Let's click pay now, awesome. Next up, you should see a screen that looks like this here. I'm just stealing it from our guide here at easywebsiteideas.com. And it should say your account was successfully created. Then you're just gonna click proceed to customer area. Boom. Awesome, welcome to your new SiteGround client area as they call it. And you should see a button up top that says set up site. I've already done that, so it's not here. But just click on that button at the top that says set up site. So I'm gonna go to websites because that'll achieve the same thing. And we can see all the websites I've made here. Um, you're probably just gonna have no websites. And then when you make websites in the future, you're gonna click on new website. So let's do that. All right, so when you click set up site, it should take you to this screen right here for add a new website. We don't have a new domain, we have an existing domain. So we're gonna select under existing domain. And then right here, it should give you your domain name in a dropdown, but if it doesn't, just go ahead and write it in. and then click continue. Awesome, we're not gonna register our domain because we already own it. And so we're just gonna click continue. It's gonna say the domain you wish to use for your site is not registered. If you wish to register, please click add next to the main. If you wish to proceed anyways without registering, blah, 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 click continue. So nothing to do here because you already own your domain, just click continue. Great work guys. So now we're obviously gonna not start a new website, we're gonna migrate a website. So click select there, and it's gonna give us the options of super fast WordPress auto migration or manual transfer by our team. And this second one is the option that will be available to you for free if you got the Grow Big or Go Geek plans, which are awesome, but we wanted to save money, so this would actually cost us $30 to do it the way where they do it for you by their team. Obviously, we don't want you to do that. We're on a budget here. So we're gonna select the super fast WordPress auto migration, which is the whole point of this tutorial, to do it for free, fast and free. To do it for fast and free. So select that and continue. We are gonna say no thanks to SG Site Scanner. You can get that later on if you want and finish. Awesome guys, it's gonna create your site here. So basically what they're doing is creating a folder with your domain name on it um, for you to migrate your content into. You're all set. So the final three steps here are really easy. We already did the plugin part, meaning we already installed it on our you know old website here at HostGator. So you don't need to download it. So that part's done. The next step is we need the token. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. So once you've activated the plugin as we did, use this token to initiate the transfer from EWP admin. That means we just need to copy it and come back to our original site here. Go ahead and paste in that migration token and that will tell our old hosting to communicate with their new hosting at SiteGround. All you need to do is make sure you get your email in here right because they're gonna send you the login information to that email and then go ahead and click initiate transfer. So let's do it. All right, while website migration is in progress, I'm gonna to explain to you the rest of the stuff here because it's gonna take a little time and I don't wanna take up any more of your time. So once that's done, all you're gonna to need to do is log into wherever you bought your domain name. Maybe that's HostGator right here. Maybe it's something like GoDaddy. Um, if it is HostGator where you got your domain name, you're gonna click on Domains. Boom. And then you're gonna find the right place to put in those two new name servers from SiteGround. Doing that will connect your domain name to your hosting. So when you visit your domain name and log in, you'll actually now be logging in to your new SiteGround hosting. So pretty cool. 
All right, so here we are in our domains. These are just different ones that I have, but as an example, what you do is click more, then you're gonna under name servers, click change, and then you're just gonna pop in name server one under name server one, this one, and then name server two in the name server two box. You can just copy and paste those. Where are we? Oh, back here, super easy. And then save them. They'll take, you know, a few hours, sometimes up to 72 hours, although not usually that long. And then um, your domain will connect to your hosting and your migration will be complete. For the record, doing all this stuff doesn't change your original website at HostGator. That's still gonna remain intact um, because we're not actually editing it. We're just copying it or cloning it to a new location and then telling people who visit your domain to instead go to SiteGround. When you log into your new WordPress site, you're gonna do it through the links you get via email, or you can just do it the way you probably were before by visiting your domain name.com forward slash WP dash admin. All right guys, that does it. I hope you enjoyed learning how to migrate from HostGator to SiteGround and move your website and move your WordPress hosting and move all your content. Um, if you have any questions, drop those off in the comments below. I'll be here for a while. Please make sure to like the video if you learned anything. That helps me a ton. And um, yeah, enjoy. I'm Greg Narayan. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.